Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm doing a bonus reading today but we don't know which sign it's for yet. So I'm going to select a sign at random. Just a quick note on my bonus readings um, since some of you have asked. So generally I do them based on the most popular signs of the month. Um, so make sure you cast your vote for future readings as I do it based on those with the most likes. But today I've been guided to do them um, by selecting a sign at random. Now I've got all the signs in here in my purse. Um, I'm not looking, as you can see. So the first one that comes out. And we've got Scorpio. So it's your lucky day, Scorpio. Okay, so um, this reading is timeless, so it could resonate whenever you come across it. It's a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I'm going to start with a spirit animal message for you all. First of all, we got Otter, you are never alone. So I feel some of you might feel alone at the moment. Um, either you live alone or you know you feel a bit isolated from people around you, like you're not really connecting with others at the moment. Um, but yeah, you're not alone. Spirit is also there, always there um, by your side. We got Feathers, so you might see Feathers as a sign of hope and love from your spirit guides and angels. You've got Scarab Beetle, that's a really magical energy. It says magic works through you. So know that, you know, you can manifest whatever you desire. Um, some of you are trying to manifest, I believe, and this, this is about believing in yourself. Um, and also knowing that spirit has got your back, spirit, is sort of co-creating with you in terms of whatever you're trying to achieve. Okay, so let's pull some tarot then as well for you, Scorpio. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, this is pretty special already and when we've got the knight, queen and king of pentacles. Um, so here first of, first of all we've got a potential good match. Could be someone who's coming into your life here I feel and it's been slow moving the knight of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo uh, but you could have that in your chart, earth in your chart. It's interesting if we look at the imagery. I'm seeing this as you. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. So some of you have been thinking about this person. So you know them already. They could be around you. You might work with them. Or it could be someone from your past as well. And in comes your person. See, so we've got the stag there showing someone who takes action. They've ascended spiritually kind of at the top of their game um, and they want to offer you stability. Wow, that's what I'm seeing here for a lot of you, to be honest. We've got rabbits there for fertility, new beginnings. But for some of you, this is a job offer as well, something you've been waiting on. Um, and then this is your energy here, feeling really elated, and happy to have achieved what you've desired. Okay, um, but you know, we've got this power couple there that's come out, so let's see anything else on that. The Fool, yeah, a new beginning for a lot of you. Um, 
Now for some of you it is you starting out on your own, taking a leap of faith. Maybe, you know, this is quite a big move for you. Yeah, they're telling me some of you might be thinking about moving home as well. For some of you, this is a new person with the fool. And for some of you, it's a fresh start with, with someone who is in your heart, I feel. Wow, okay, I'm not going to take those. That's way too many, but there's one over here. Yeah, the Emperor. Wow, really p powerful energy um, with the stag and the Emperor. A lot of divine masculine energy. So it could be your own inner divine masculine here taking the lead. But my guides are really highlighting that this could be your divine masculine who wants a fresh start with you. Um, for some of you though, this is you building your empire. It could be that this is a business partnership and you've got many different options. I'm seeing like all these branches as different options that you have. Um, a lot of Aries has come out here actually. Yeah, new partnership is being confirmed with the two of wands. Some of you have been wishing on a star, hoping for this. Um, interesting that this person's on a roof, so feeling more stable, moving home for some of you. Uh, for some of you, this person's at a distance. I feel you have a, a very specific dream about this person before they enter your life. Whether you've seen them before or not, you'll know them from their energy. Um, that's what they're telling me here. So it could be a decision that some of you have to make in terms of maybe moving um, or you know whether you want this. Yeah, so with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords makes good decisions, weighs things up, and also with justice, we can see that with the scales. Um, so it's like you're going to sort of look out, she's got a telescope, you're going to look at your options, weigh them up, and you will make the right decision, because the sword is pointing upwards. Here's where you might need to reach out to spirit for a sign, I mean we've got birds there that could be your spirit animal but again we've got this like on top of the world energy here, she's at the top of this high rise building and here on a balloon um, yeah, I mean the amount of times that's come out in the imagery someone here at the top of their game so a lot of you in whatever you do you're going to be at the top of your game Things could work out for you. Um, positive karma. Karma, so, you know, it depends how you've been. Scorpio, got to put that out there in terms of whether it's good or bad. But um, I'm just feeling it's positive from the cards here. So Libra energy in particular is coming out. For some of you, this could be something legal that you're going through and you're going to be successful. I feel. Um, it could be a divorce for some of you or ending a contract and starting a new business contract there, work contract. Anything else in the spirit? Wow, yeah, we've got the King of Cups. Um, so we've got the ship Again, a symbol of travel, moving potentially, someone who's overseas, who you might go and see, or they might come and see you. But the King of Cups feels a lot of emotions. Um, they've really gone through a lot in their life. 
as have you as the Queen of Swords. So King and Queen again, really getting a power couple coming through here. Um, they might not express it all right away. That's, that could be why some of you hold back and wonder, you know, what this person's all about. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces there. Okay, let's take a few Romance Angels because we do seem to have this connection strongly coming out, this reading. Wow, now interesting wording, your lo love life is ascending. Um, you know, I'm seeing that like all this imagery of you there on top of the world. Um, engagement is coming out, so it could ascend to a higher level. So if you're already in a um, relationship, that could be, you know, what happens here. Or this person enters your life and very quickly wants to commit. With the King of Cups there in particular, it's like they're telling me they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. Um, yeah, they're also showing me the birds. So I feel they receive signs that lead them to you. Uh, okay, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life. So if you've had any issues, I'm seeing things picking up with the King and Queen of Pentacles there. Maybe this person as well has had some issues. Um, obviously we had justice there for something where you might have had a, a bit of a loss financially. Deception, okay. Now I'm feeling with this card, this is what some of you have, have experienced in the past someone was wearing a false mask and I'm feeling that's why with the Queen of Swords you're going to be quite discerning in terms of who you allow into your life you know whether it was this person or someone else I'm getting a, a mixture of things for some of you this is someone new um, and for some of you, you know them. I'm getting quite a new energy though. So you're being guided to keep an open mind. And healing might be needed here. Um, linked to your childhood, inner child. Linked to your parents. So things you experienced. You know, maybe there was a lot of deception in your household. And some of you are still holding on to those feelings from the past, which then, you know, don't enable you to then open your heart fully to this potential love. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going to extend this reading because I do that generally when we get a strong energy come through. And we've had that in this reading. Um, so the link to that reading will be in the description, description box below. Um, but we'll look at your person's energy, their potential next move, the likely outcome of this connection and some advice from Spirit. For those of you not going to that reading, let's pull some charms. Okay, so we've got pliers, which really does link to needing to cut things out. Um, that you've been holding on to, I feel, things you need to heal. But it could also be severing ties with a relationship here, um, where there's been deception, someone around you. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a few different things that go on for some of you here. Could be that some of you end a relationship with the Queen of Swords I think I said that before. Um, and that's kind of needed to open you up to this new beginning. Okay, wow, we've got the aeroplane. So I'm immediately thinking ascension again. Um, your love life ascending, <laughs> which we had before. But also travel, which has come out. Um, so if you have the, the yearning 
a yearning to travel. Um, this person could be at quite a distance. Maybe it's a different country. When you've got the stalk for a new beginning, which came out with the fall, taking that leap of faith and you'll be rewarded by the universe. Um, could be a child on the way for some of you. Or you maybe ha have a family. Okay, Scorpio, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, as I said, the link to the extended is in the description box below if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. Please do hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Sending peace, love and light to you all.